Hey guys, it's Lucille. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a full set display styling and review for the 6 star ocean sunset that you can get from the Thai Melody Light Chase. Uh, if you're watching this as a global player, you can consider it as a preview for an upcoming gacha. Okay, so this is the full 6 star ocean sunset and I just love it so much. Yeah, it just looks super ethereal and I think it goes really well with the underwater background. Yeah, so I completed this set in about 190 pulls. If you guys want to watch me pulling for this set as well as other items, you can check out my gacha video in my videos playlist. Oh, and I love how it just, you know, periodically shows her playing the harp. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Alright, so now we're gonna look at all the items in detail. And the first one is this Tidal Rhyme hairstyle. I love it so much because it's super long and wavy and it just goes all the way down to uh, below her hips yeah and I just love how flowy it is and it actually comes in two colors so you can you know play with the dyes I think for me usually what I'll do is I'll change it to like the same color yeah so for example I'll change it to this so that it just looks more uh, uniform <laughs> but yeah that's just me if you guys like to play with streaks you can you know just change the colors yeah i love this hairstyle so much okay the next item is this distant ocean hair accessory and it just looks really beautiful as well because it has so many um like gems and little uh pearls just decorated all around it yeah and i just love how intricate and just pretty it looks so i think it definitely matches the rest of the outfit really well so i really like it the next item is the ocean gem earrings and actually they're not the same on both sides yeah so the left one um almost looks like it's two part with a top and a bottom and then the right side is a bit simpler so i love the whole asymmetrical look yeah so i think it really matches the rest of the jewelry Moving on to the title pearl necklace. So the design here also matches the earrings because it uses a lot of pearls, um, you know, and shades of blue and silver. And I love that it has this sort of like mother pearl effect. Yeah, using like the inner lining of pearls, as you can see here. Yeah, so when put together, I just feel like there's a lot of texture and from afar and up close, it just looks very glittery. <laughs> yeah, so I love this. The next item is the Shell Pro Glove. And I love this so much because it's not really a glove. It's just like a hand accessory and looks like it's made out of, I don't know, like metal, but encrusted with a lot of jewels. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, she's moving around. So it has a color scheme of like silver, sea green, and pearlescent colors yeah so i think it's very pretty and very subtle but intricate at the same time next item is the ocean spirit ring and i know from this angle it looks like she only has four fingers but <laughs> no okay she has five it's just that her thumb is hidden okay but anyway this ring is kind of unique because it only appears on her left hand yeah and it looks like it's a set of five smaller rings can you guys see yeah so it's actually all concentrated on her left hand so i think that's pretty unique yeah and i think it's really pretty as well all right and the next item is the ocean sound dress definitely one of my favorite items from the set if not my absolute favorite yeah and i can only think of adjectives such as uh, pearlescent, iridescent, <laughs> luminous yeah and i really really love like um, everything about it. <laughs> okay, so let's begin from the top. First of all, I really love the shape of the sleeves. Yeah, it's super dreamy and you know, it just kind of flows to the side. It almost reminds me of like, I don't know, jellyfish or <laughs> like something you can see in the underwater, right? If you look closer, it has all these sequins and glitter on it yeah and at the back there is a corset lacing super lovely and then at the waist there is this uh, clamshell belt design yeah that kind of tucks everything in the middle yeah so i love the sheer overlay on top this one that looks a bit uh of a lighter blue 
yeah, it's just so dreamy and I love that it's just sitting on top of what looks like a heavier material on the bottom. Yeah, so pretty. And finally, of course, I think the most attractive thing or eye-catching thing is the animation. Look at this. When you are zooming in, you can see all these like dolphins, seashells. <laughs> I think bubbles, right? Yeah, bubbles and I think, oh my gosh, there's also starfishes. Yeah, it's like peeking into an aquarium in your skirt. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's really lovely. Yeah, and I could just, you know, lose myself just looking at this all day. So yeah, I think it's definitely a beautiful animation effects for this dress. Yeah, super gorgeous. Moving on to the lingering string socks so these are not really socks it's more like <laughs> uh gems just kind of wrapped around her legs yeah and it's very thin and really pretty because look at this i just love all these little gems and i think the colors of like um blue and silver and gray is just so pretty moving on to this hidden sea glow shoes oh my gosh i love this one so much because it looks like glass slippers yeah it almost reminds me of cinderella <laughs> yeah so it's made of glass and it has all these crystals encrusted on them yeah so beautiful and the crystals are like super big and chunky i absolutely love the shape of the heels and how it's curved and has all these pearls just wrapped around them yeah so gorgeous okay so the next item is the tight string harp and this is a handheld i love this one so much because it's just so unique and beautiful we've never had um such an instrument before <laughs> yeah and i love how like you know once in a while she would just play the harp so pretty so just like the glass slippers it looks like it's made of glass yeah so it just looks very fragile and beautiful the next item is this ripple dream tattoo and i love it because it's made up of clamshells or seashells yeah and it looks almost whimsical because it's just kind of scattered across her neck and her collarbone and yeah i love that it also has a bit of glitter on it the only thing is i wish that we could dye it so i could play around with colors but tattoos are something that you cannot dye in like makeover so yeah <laughs> anyway the default color is really pretty so yeah i'm happy okay and finally the last item in the set is the title song a uh, floating item which are these three really cute <laughs> dolphins so i love this floating item so much because it comes in this like pool of water yeah when you walk around you'll be walking on this pool of water and then you have three really cute dolphins jumping around you yeah i think it's super beautiful and i love how animated it is I also love how the dolphins are glowing and glittering, so it just matches with the overall feel of this set. Alright, so those are all the items in the set, and now I'm going to show you the dynamic pose that comes with it once you complete the Ocean Sound set. And this one is called Ocean Melody. <gasps> oh my gosh, she summons the harp! I love that she kind of conjured it out of mid-air or mid-water <laughs> Oh, and then she starts playing it I love it so much It just looks like... I don't know, it looks like it's a scene from a movie or something Yeah, with the dramatic background music <laughs> Yeah, I really love it so much so much okay so now i'm gonna move on to two different stylings um that i have done for this set Ta -da! this is my very first styling <laughs> i love it so much and i've been so excited to share this with you guys yes it's a little mermaid <laughs> yeah oh honestly when i first started playing like makeover i've always wanted to do a little mermaid cosplay but i always felt like i didn't have the right items because you're not available yet yeah but now we do and i'm so happy with how this turned out doesn't she look like little mermaid <laughs> okay so let's start with the hair first okay so i only took a few items from the set so the main item i took was this hairstyle 
and I dyed it in the shade of 16, I think. Yeah, uh, this red is from the 16 palette. Just, yeah, a beautiful shade of red and just reminds me of Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Yeah, and then the other item I used from the set was um, the gloves. Yeah, I think the gloves kind of gives it a little um, detail to the overall look, so I kept it. And then the third item was the ring. And then the next item is of course the floating uh, dolphins. And notice that I actually use the color of yellow that is similar to flounder. Yeah, flounder the fish <laughs> in The Little Mermaid because I wanted to um, mimic that color because that fish is always following her around. Yeah, so <laughs> I dyed it to that color. Yeah, so the rest are actually items from other sets. Um, so for example, this top is actually free recently from an in-game event but I dyed it in purple and honestly I was struggling so hard for the longest time to find a top that matched um, you know her clamshell top in the movie yeah so I thought this was the closest and the shade is beautiful yeah and then this little <laughs> um you know hair accessory that I cannot even remember where it's from to be honest <laughs> But yeah, I just thought that it really matched the whole theme. And then I gave her very simple earrings because I didn't want to overdo it. And then for her makeup, um, yeah, I kept it simple and gave her these beautiful contacts. I love it so much. Let's see what this one is. This one is called um, Splash Snow. Yeah, so Ariel has blue eyes and I gave her this um, one that has shades of blue. Yeah, and it's just so mesmerizing. And then for eyeshadow, I gave it a little hint of uh, purple. I was thinking like since she's a mermaid, I didn't want her makeup to be too heavy, you know, because <laughs> I don't know, it's like it would seem a bit unnatural. But yeah, so I just gave it a little something and then I think it's really pretty. And then yes, I gave her a fork. <laughs> Do you guys remember the fork from The Little Mermaid? So there's a scene where she, you know, um was showing off all her trinkets that she collected in her cave and then there was another scene where she was using a fork to comb her hair yeah so i think it really matches so i gave her the fork head help okay and this skirt is actually from the five star burning lotus set yeah the one where she's floating in mid-air yeah with a lotus and i just realized that it looks really beautiful in this shade of green. I actually chose a few skirts but I landed on this one because I thought that the shape is closest to that of the mermaid's tail with how it sort of uh, starts being a bit narrow and then it expands to become a bit wider. So I really took a lot of time to select the items that best uh, fit <laughs> um, this little mermaid interpretation and I love how it turned out. I'm just so happy. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think? I really love it so 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 much. Okay, and now we're back with our second look and I love this one so much as well. Initially, I wanted to do an Ursula look. Like, you know, the evil uh, witch in The Little Mermaid? <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be good to do one um, after doing The Little Mermaid. So I chose to do her dress in purple and black because Ursula has those colors um, on her character in the show. Yeah, but then as I was, you know, styling her, I just couldn't bring myself to give her short hair and you know make her look evil and the more I tried to make her look evil the more beautiful she became so <laughs> in the end I decided to change the concept and just go with like an underwater bride you know like someone who is having a wedding at maybe you know an aquarium yeah and then I think it's really beautiful so basically I changed out the hair and then um, I gave her this gorgeous veil and I dyed it in uh, black and white and then oh I think I kept the, um, the necklace and the earrings from the original set but I just dyed it a little bit so that it looks more black uh, with some hints of purple yeah and then um, the handheld of course I changed out the harp to this beautiful rose a bunch of roses also dyed in purple and the colors for this dress <laughs> I have to show it to you guys because it's actually a mix of um black and then dark purple lighter purple darker purple <laughs> and then black again so yeah i actually um 
used the colors from these two palettes mainly. Yeah, so I really love this one so much and I think it gives off a very different feel from the original. Yeah, so which is your favorite styling from the two? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so I'm gonna conclude this video by um, sharing my overall thoughts on the set. I think what I most love about the set is definitely um, the hairstyle. I think this hairstyle is super versatile and as I've shown you earlier, you can dye it in a lot of beautiful colors including red which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And then the second thing I love the most I think would be uh, the harp because it is so unique and I love how it produces a melody. Yeah, <laughs> when you're using it so that's really pretty and of course um, I would say my favorite item is definitely the dress because it is just so stunning with the whole animation effect and when you dye in different colors it just produces um, different types of result. Now what I don't love so much about the set is again <laughs> parts that cannot be dyed but then again I think this is something that is just the same for all the clothes. Yeah there will always be some parts that cannot be dyed so for this dress one of them is the belt. Yeah so the, as you can see the belt comes with two shells right and these cannot be dyed so they will always be in this uh, sort of pearlescent color which is very pretty but it's just that you know sometimes you just want to change it <laughs> and you cannot and then the thing is that this animation uh, effect that you see here actually comes with a tinge of blue so when you match it with the default color like this dress it it looks seamless right and even in the dark purple version that i showed you guys earlier it's also kind of seamless but if you match it with like other colors say pink which is also very pretty the only thing is if you zoom in you'll see that the animation is in this tint of blue yeah so ideally you know we can change the color of the animation yeah and also if you were to dye everything in black uh, let me just show you what's happening is the animation will remain blue yeah so you will still see this effect in blue which is very pretty i do not uh, deny it's just that you know um i would like to see it in another color <laughs> yeah that would be so fun if you can dye the animation effect all right so that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite style or your favorite item from this beautiful ocean sound set i'm gonna end this uh, with me in the mermaid outfit because i love it so much so once again if you like what you're watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much bye bye 再见喽